What's going on everyone? Hopefully you're having a good day. Today we're going to be breaking down the Justice League trailer. I'm so excited because this is such a good trailer. I'm just going to go straight into the breakdown so let's begin. But before I begin the breakdown, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you're a subscriber, turn on the notifications, give this video a thumbs up, share that video with your friends as well. So let's begin. I can't wait. It's so, it is so good. Now, this scene here is where Bruce Wayne is actually going to try and recruit Aquaman for the first time, like we saw in the Comic-Con footage a few months back. But he was unsuccessful, and we can tell because this is the exact same clothing that he wore in that footage. And the voiceover is him talking to Diana, saying that they have to get ready. And I'm guessing that he knows this. He knows Steppenwolf is coming because of Lex Luthor. He gets because we know that Lex Luthor is going to reprise his role in this movie. So I'm guessing Bruce Wayne goes to him to get information. And that's how he knows about Stephen Wolf. Now, we saw just a few frames ago that the mother box was in cyborg's father's home and behind cyborg's father right now we see a parademon the parademon is obviously going after the mother box now is he going to kill victor's father we don't know we just have to wait and see i hope not because i want to see the father and son relationship more in the cyborg movie but it just remains to be seen Okay, let's go back a bit. Now, from here we get a good look at his suit a bit more. People complain that it's a bit too skinny and that it's not bulky enough. I agree with them, it is skinny. But I feel that we just have to wait and see for the final version when it comes out in the cinemas because this may well not be the final look because they might still have to add a bit more special effects. So I'm giving them a benefit of a doubt. Now, my man Flash Barry Allen, we see the Speed Force Lightning. And my problem with this is that it's not the traditional red, orangey, yellow color like the comic book and the tv show version but i think they went with blue because they want to be different from the tv show i'm not sure how i feel about that but i wish it was the traditional color but yeah but i, I will say though that the speed force though the after effects when he runs it looks pretty cool it actually does Now, I love that. Oh, and this is a good shot here of Batman in his tactical suit swinging like Spider-Man. Yes, like Spider-Man into a parademon. And wow, this is a good shot. Well, obviously not the best shot. It could be clearer, but, you know. And like I was about to say before, Barry Allen asks Bruce, are you Batman? I hope Bruce replies by saying, yes, I'm Batman in his Batman voice. That would be so cool, but obviously that's not going to happen. Now, this is a frame of all the Justice League members apart from Batman. I don't know why Batman is not in this shot. And yeah, they all look pretty cool. This trailer though, like it gets, it gives you so many good shots of the league. And I really like that. That's what I like about this trailer.
and we see Aquaman fighting a parademon here. I'm very glad that of Aquaman's look. I actually do because I was worried he was going to fight shirtless. Like, you wouldn't really fight shirtless in a battle like this. No, come on. So I'm really glad they have the greenish, orangey, goldish chest plate on the armor. I'm really glad. Now here we see Diana fighting a bunch of men. We don't know who these men are, but I'm guessing this looks like a museum of some sort because the setting, it looks like how a museum will be set out. But maybe one of the mother boxes is being kept in this. Maybe the guards are just trying to protect the place because they don't know Diana. They don't know, you know, of her presence. So Diana is trying to fight them to get, to the mother box so that she can protect it i don't know that that's just me guessing off the spot she looks very good here by the way i like this shot like i said before i like so many shots of the justice league members in this trailer now cyborg let's go here he looks a bit like a mish match of terminator and iron man i didn't even know he had a face mask but you know turns out that he does it looks pretty cool though he actually does maybe that's to protect his face his human face from you know being smashed or being you know hit by lasers or whatnot now we see there flash is fighting a parademon and you know in theory, Flash will just be able to take down all of these people one by if this was real life, Flash will have no problem doing taking out all these people. <laughs> now I like that dynamic. Flash, in my opinion, he's gonna be the one to balance out the tone of the movie from a dark tone to a more, you know light tone and i really like that he's basically the spider-man of the dceu in my opinion now we see all the league members fighting on the parademons and when batman said my turn that was so cool <laughs> Now we see Lois Lane there. Now, I'm guessing when we saw Lois Lane in that frame, she is looking at Superman because she's looking up. And why else would Lois Lane be in this movie if Superman was not, you know, going towards, going to visit her or somewhere? That's just my guess. Now we see here Aquaman controlling the water. Obviously, that's what he does. He uses his trigon to, you know, lift up water and control it. But what for? Who knows? If you guys know, you know, speculate down below in the comments. Now we see Mera. Here we see Queen Mera. She looks pretty good. Underwater, wow. The special effects look so good. I can't wait to see how they pull it off because it's, that's a hard thing to do. And here we see Barry and his dad, Henry Allen. And I, I can't wait to see this dynamic. I didn't even know Henry Allen was going to be in this movie, to be honest with you, because of the TV show version. I like the dynamic with the TV show version. Now here we see Aquaman talking to Jim Gordon and Batman and Diana. And wow, I just can't wait for this movie. This is a pretty good shot. Like, it's, it's so well done. I cannot wait. I, I can't wait to see how J.K. Simmons plays D Commissioner Gordon because he plays the role of J.J. Jameson in Spider-Man Sam Raimi trilogy so well. Like, 
wow. For, for me, it is hard to imagine another J.J. Jameson actor. And I'm pretty sure that's why they haven't actually recasted him in the Spider-Man franchise. But nevertheless. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for the Justice League trailer. And I will give this trailer a nine and a half out of ten we still haven't seen superman yet and that's a good thing because you know we don't want them to spoil it on this early in the movie because for the regular moviegoers they don't know that superman comes back to life in the comic books you know so you know but either way i feel that they should leave superman out of the marketing but i'm pretty sure they will reveal him somewhere down the line kind of like they did with doomsday in batman v superman but oh well so what do you guys think of this trailer i really liked it personally let me know what you guys think about this trailer share thoughts down below in the comments if you like this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys later for more breakdown videos